Fort Lauderdale is one of the cities that declared a state of emergency. Let's get right out to CBS News Miami's Anna McAllister. She is live in Fort Lauderdale. Anna? Elliot Lauren, rain, rain, go away. That is the mantra for today. A soggy and saturated day here in Fort Lauderdale. I'm on West Las Olas Boulevard. The whole street still inundated with water, but it wasn't just West Las Olas Boulevard that was impacted here in Fort Lauderdale. A wet mess on Cistrunk Boulevard in Fort Lauderdale, leaving residents like Janaya trekking through inches of flood water. That is crazy. I mean, look at my pants. Look at me. I'm wet. Every time I walk in the street, the water's right here. Cars braved through the waters, but some vehicles just couldn't escape the hours of downpours. Flooded. I caught my insurance already, and I took pictures. So how, how, much, how many inches of rain do you think got in your car? You got a lot. It's all the way in now. Flooded. Wednesday evening, residents tried making their way through West Las Olas Boulevard, some of them walking through the water just to get home. Uh, it's, it's impossible. It's very hard. The city of Fort Lauderdale reported that it received about eight and a half inches of rain Wednesday, with an additional three inches expected overnight. And for the folks that are living here in this area, I would highly recommend looking into some sandbags because we are expecting some more rain tomorrow. And another thing that I would suggest is to get really good, substantial rain boots. I gave up on the socks, but this is the boot and this is all the water Ooh. that's come out of it. So make sure, make sure that you have proper rain gear. I showed you guys a sock before, but the rain boot, you really need these two guys. But for now, reporting live from Fort Lauderdale, Anna McAllister, CBS News, Miami. We're going to have to get you some taller boots, yeah. Anna. Thank <laughs> you for that live shot. Always prepared out there in the field.